You got beer up here, you got burgers, food, everything you need here. This place is just on a completely different level and it's all free. Good morning guys from Fuwak Island. If you guys recognize this place, well, this is the very first place I've ever filmed a vlog in. Three, four years ago almost in Vietnam. And I'm back here at the very same resort. It's amazing to see this place still here, honestly. So today we're actually in uh, Fuwak. Uh, this is like my third time here. And I love this place. It's beautiful. It's dry season right now. It's the perfect time to be here. This time around, I want to experience a few things that I didn't get to do. Uh, the last two times that I was here, uh, one of which is going to be doing an island tour. There's a few islands just south that you can actually only reach by a boat. So I've gone ahead and hired a, uh, a tour to go on. It's one of those, you know, huge tours where it's like 30, 40 people on the boat. Um, not one of my favorites, but uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It's really cheap. Great day out here for it, for an island tour. So let's head on down to the ferry. Alright guys, welcome to the port. This is where all of the uh, island tours are leaving from. Usually you would get picked up <laughs> by your tour group, but because I have my bike, I'm just parking my bike here. Gotta mix up my morning coffee. Mm. Strong. story boats these are like the most common tours you'll see and you can see literally buses and buses of people heading to the boats so we're still waiting for for people to come on board and then we'll head out we are on our way right now to the first island it's about 40 minutes 45 minutes away is what the guy told me. Uh, the guy speaks English, great English, so so far off to a great start compared to Namdu where I was on the entire tour and nobody spoke English, <laughs> including the guide even. We're gonna stop off there for about 45 minutes to an hour is what they said. We're gonna do some snorkeling on the first two islands and then uh, on our very last island, he said that we're gonna be just chilling out on the beach. The skiff right behind me here is gonna take us out onto the beach. There's the beach bar there. We can chill out, go to the beach, and uh, enjoy ourselves. We've arrived at our first spot. People are already jumping in. The water looks amazing. Only just two other boats here, and uh, I might actually give it a go here. The water does look really nice. the next snorkeling spot we're about to pass this uh, island that I just took a drone shot of it it is probably one of the most beautiful islands in the archipelago here around where we're at in Fuwak um, so if you're doing a private boat tour try to hit up this island there's not that many boats here right now maybe we'll stop here by the way guys bought myself a beer I was complaining that they didn't they weren't selling any drinks and uh, they finally sold some drinks Wow, man, this, this uh, little cove is beautiful. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like you can actually snorkel all the way out to the, to the beach. Looks like it's pretty rocky, so you can't really enjoy the beach there. Obviously, this is a pre-planned tour, so we don't have a say in where we're going, unlike a private tour. So uh, I might chill out here, drink my beer, and uh, enjoy the view while everybody else goes in the water. Alright guys, just went in for a quick dip. The water here is actually much clearer. 
so it's better for snorkeling here than the other beach was. But I do smell the kitchen cooking something up. Let's go check it out. They have serving us lunch. Uh, we got us some soup here. Got some uh, morning glory, got some shrimp, tofu here, as well as some mixed greens. Uh, really Vietnamese style lunch, so let's eat up. Alright guys, so while we were finishing up lunch here on the boat, the boat was taking us to our last stop, which is this beautiful beach island here with, with a tiki bar uh, and some really nice uh, tourist activities to do here. So probably gonna chill out here. We got an hour and a half on this last island to do whatever we want to. This is probably the nicest beach so far. It's actually a beach, not like the other ones where we're snorkeling at. Um, so let's head on out there. The lunch was amazing, by the way. And I've already got another beer. The aftermath of all the lunch. on that boat for maybe four minutes and I got four shades darker already on my arms. It's crazy. The sun is so hot here. I didn't see you. I thought you were no. on the boat. And then no. I realized only when we left that you were still on the... No, no. Let's get a beer. Uh, yeah. Can I have a rum punch? Rum punch. Yeah. So the prices here are actually not bad. I just paid the 100k for a rum punch in Saigon if I went to a bar. It would be like 150, 250 at least for uh, for like a cocktail. So actually, the prices are good here. Well, guys, so far this is probably the best island, the very last one, the third island. Got lots of beach bars here, lots of restaurants. We got almost two hours here to spend, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, the last the last places were only like 45 minutes. So we actually get to chill out and relax here and spend some time here in the water and on the beach which so far has been the best one yet. I just got a cocktail as you guys saw. It's shocking, even though on the boat they're doubling the price for beers, here they're actually pretty cheap. So make sure you bring some cash, there's no ATMs obviously, uh, no credit cards and uh, enjoy your time here. The sun is just uh, starting to come out of the clouds as well, so absolutely amazing time. They got some water sports here as well, some paddle boarding, some jet skis as well if you guys want to do that even some paragliding actually all right guys my bike is still here nobody stole it really good trip really enjoyed it got a lot of sun as you guys can see time to head back to the hotel though but uh yeah i went with john's tours guys really cool Met some people on the boat as well, some uh, foreigners as well. Got to speak with them a little bit and chat with them. So overall, great trip. Islands are beautiful, great lunch as well on the boat. Had some seafood, has, had everything basically. And uh, only cost me 715K. And that was um, actually a little more expensive than it usually is because of the holiday. So you, you'll pay a little less um, if you do come here. Good morning guys from another beautiful day here in Fuwak Island. This is my very last day. Sorry for the karaoke in the background. It's still Ted holiday and the locals are celebrating with music as they always do here. I wanted to head down here to um, a quick resort just down the road here. It's um, private but I'm gonna see if I can get into it because online the beach looks amazing. So let's head down there now. Architecture here is on a whole different level compared to the rest of the island. Bright, colorful houses, very, very nice, very high end. And I'm gonna assume the beaches as well from the photos that I've seen. But I've gone ahead and parked my bike right here on the street, um, not too far away from the beach. Got the palm trees up here, white sand beach, quite literally, even though it's probably thick sand. And uh, even got a beach bar here for beer. This place is incredible, absolutely beautiful. Not that many people either, free to come in. You've got beer up here, you've got burgers, food, everything you need here. Can't imagine it being too cheap here, but 
of course you're paying for the service, you're paying for the location to be here. So it's I think it's well worth it. Alright guys, it is time to crack open the beer and enjoy the beach day.